is fucking epic. This is not real life. I don't believe what my eyes are seeing, but I know I'm seeing it, man. Make some fucking noise for yourself. Tripping, smoother than the last record though. Yeah, like thousand, by thousand percent. Right? Okay, yeah. totally. I was like, I'm, I might be tripping, but like that. <laughs> did we felt... do three days? We did. We did two. I just... you know, with the last album. I feel like every record that we've done, and you know, I feel like it kind of goes for a lot of bands too. It's like you just try to do what you did last time. If you're not changing your sound, you just want to trim the fat and just do it better. And so we really like spent time just trying to figure like, like, does this need to be here? Like, let's make everything we put down. It has to be there. It's mandatory, and it, and it adds to the song and brings it. So, I feel like with this next this record, we like really tried to bring everything we like, which is like a just a blend of like guitar music with like mosh music, and really catchy hooks, and sing along parts. And so, without really too much thought into it, you know, we we did that. I think we were able to achieve that. <laughs> Good. You can turn the vocals on again and listen to it. I'm down, actually. You're down. I'm, I'm down? I mean, I, I'm like, no. I, I, a little more straightforward, straight to the point, like less less outside influences and more just kind of a balls of the wall, like hardcore record. I think that a lot of personal shit happened to each and every one of us in the past couple of years. And I think we were definitely trying to channel that and um, just make a really angry, mean, hardcore record that like a lot of, a lot of younger kids can gravitate towards. Drain came to me maybe seven years ago with just like a cold message asking if I would do their demo. Said yeah, had a great time. Did it again. Then we did it again. And then we did it again. And then I think we did their album. Maybe one less than that. But yeah, we just kept doing it. They kept getting better and better. And then there was finally like an explosion. And they always had it in them, but once it hit, it hit. And we made it, we made it scientific earlier when we took the space between the hits and we made the bell the exact distance. Your new tempo is what, is what the gap should be. You don't want it to be That's gonna sound awkward. So like slow we've been down with Taylor for stuff. every single release we've done. You know, we uh, we just started with a dry email. We didn't know him. We were just fans of his band, and uh, we were shocked that he even responded to us in like 2015. And we booked our first little studio time with him, and we had a great time. We learned a lot and we went back and we just keep coming back. And so now it's cool because it's like, I just feel like it's me and my bandmates. We were like my best friends and we're sitting in there with just like our big bro, you know? And he's just like, so real and so honest. It's like, yo, that sucks, do it again. You can do it better. And he pushes us and also like is able, he's the, he's the king of the mosh. You know, he knows what it's gonna take to make that part just like hit extra hard. Between him bringing that side, we're bringing the music and you know, also just being like open to trying new things, you know? like random like percussions or things in the back, just different layers. I feel like we all have made a really good like melting pot together. This song sucks. <laughs> Here and now, 
And then as now's ending, the next take, like, this just will come in on top of that. Hell yeah. Okay, let's run it. Let's run it. Here now! This is like Black Flag, man. <sighs> you guys like Black Flag? I've never heard of Sam, and Drake here. We're going to do a sticker block right I remember Sammy called me one day uh, when I was living in, in LA. He called me, he's like, hey man, you want an espresso shot to the face? And I was like, fuck it, man, hit me. And he's like, yo, we're signed to Epitaph. And I was like, dude, fucking spring out of my bed, all happy and shit. I remember Sammy had had let me know that Epitaph was interested and I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure they are. Like, I didn't really take it seriously because I was like, no fucking way. Um, and then when I kind of, then we kind of kept being like, no man, I, I think it's gonna happen. And I was like, I was still very skeptical. Like, there's no fucking way, like what? And then it happened and I was like, damn. I don't even know what to think. Like that's just like so far. Again, anything this band does at this point is just so far past what I thought this band was ever gonna do. It's like it's all pretty mind blowing. But to be on such a legendary label like Epitaph. Our goal with this was to kind of go into like a slightly different direction, like not super out out of the realm of like what Drain is. You know, we didn't want to write the same record again. You know, we kind of want to push ourselves and uh, tap into different territories, you know, that we haven't before. I think I can speak for the rest of the guys in that this new record is definitely just supposed to be a, in a non-corny way, a beacon of light for, for anyone who's trying to pursue anything in life. Um, just very, very, very simply put, like just stick with it, keep going, don't stop. And, um, you know, if we can do it, you certainly can too. You know, the big thing with this record, when it came time to, to doing it, and like, especially over the last two years, just with everything that's gone on, you know, we've kind of watched, in a strange, we watched our band grow, but we really didn't get to see what that looked like. We, we watched it, but we weren't really getting to watch it because we were kind of so removed from everybody, from people. And so, um, when we first came back and started playing shows, it was, we, we realized that we had like, leveled up. You know, kind of, it seemed like overnight, but it really was like two years later, and so, when we're doing this next record, I kind of wanted to like, I don't know, just touch base on that. And so this, you know, this record's called Living Proof and that's what this band is. We literally started as regular people, just like everyone, you know, everyone else. We didn't know anybody in our scene. We didn't have any like ties or connections. We didn't know anybody. We weren't great musicians. We weren't particularly young. We weren't particularly cool. We just wanted to play music. And so we set out to do that and you know, seven years ago, and we've just been working at it, and slowly but surely, it's like, we like go into places where we don't know anybody and leave a mark, and we go back to that city, and there's 10 kids last time, and now there's 20, 50, 100, and just planting that, and just been really fucking hard work, but work that we've been happy to get to do. This album's called Living Proof, and that's what this band and what we as individuals are, you know, Living Proof, and for us, it was music and playing in a band. You know, we got here on our own, just built on our, our hard work and so we wanted to make a statement like we've done it and so you can do that whatever it may be whether it's your own band or it's a career or it's a fitness journey you want to get on you can totally do that if you're willing to put in the work and just get your feet wet get your hands dirty and just like actually make it happen we're living proof this is living proof well Like, oh, we must have a stroke, dude. I can't breathe. You look like the bad guy from The Mask when he puts the mask on. <laughs> like, dude, dude, look at this. This is like last week's show a month ago. That's like non-edited. <laughs>
<laughs> it's not an edited picture. It it's just, like I think, I think, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so my, but this album too, my album four, like I will be dead. I'm not for so sure dead. That photo is gravity happening yeah. to you as you land and come back up. So your skin is coming down and the, like this, this, the photo was shot here. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you had the chat with that. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, honestly, I need that too. then I'm just going to Botox it and we'll be styling, you know? Yeah, you'll be fine.